Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. Before we start this episode, this one, I just need to say some things. I completely messed up. <laughs> yeah, how do you mess up? Well, this is from two separate recordings that I'm going to stitch together into one. Yeah, I'd explain. Well, Misakasa's route, going down her route, is... Uh, it changes the story a lot. Like, even before you even go down her route from, you know, from... Uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you right now. Let me, hold on. Let me move. Okay, here we go. Here we go, right? This is the common route, right? This is from the beginning all the way down. The, and it goes into, like, the choices. Remember, Nanami is waiting, blah, 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 right? I think it's right around here where we start. And we go to the student council room to talk to Hazu no, to talk to Misakasa about Hazuki, right? And that goes into a, a little thing. Then you go all the way here and it goes down to something else like the dorm as we always go where me and Kohei are like, oh, we're gonna go to the dorms and everything. And we stop by a cat and that goes down a whole nother thing. Where we talk about, we, we're just with Ayase the whole time. With this one, you go down with Niji-san, where Niji-san's like, Here, come into my head, come, put your head up between my breasts, and talk about Ferran and everything, you know what I mean? And yeah, that goes through a whole different thing. Then you go down here, no, not right here, but you go down, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh yeah, you go down here to Day of the Expo, and like things change because now it's different with Misukasa-san. It's so different that I need to. Mm, ah man. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be a two-parter. This one's gonna be, you know, it's gonna take longer than usual. But you know, before we even get to her route where they all get lovey-dovey and everything. But yeah, okay. Just give me time. I just need to wrap my head around what to record and what not to record because I don't want to bore you with the same old game again. I'm not going from the beginning. I just want to show you what's new. Okay? So, without further ado, enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. And, yeah. See you then. Okay. So, I'm back and we're going to do um, Misukasa's route. So, we're going to set it up this episode and the next episode will be... Misukasa, number one. <laughs> Alrighty. Go to the president's rooms and ask Misukasa. So this is, um... When was this? This was, um... When Satoru wants to ask for help or, like, go hang out with someone, I think. And you either go hang out with Mayu-senpai or Misukasa. We hanged out with Mayu and things got... I don't remember. I don't remember, okay? It's been a long time ago. Yeah, it's only been a month! Yeah, that's a long time, assholes. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling at you. You're my beautiful little pop champs. Okay, go to the president's room and ask Misukasa-san. Ask her what? Oh! No, I remember this now. This is, um... We have to ask uh, advice for, um... For Niji-san. Like, for Hazuki. We have to ask, like, Hey, how can we help her? So, yeah, this is, um... Okay, I'm excited. I stand in front of the door of the president's room and give it a few light knocks. A response comes without delay. The door is open. Come inside. Hey. Oh, hello, Hello. So what brings you here? Oh, but well, before you do that, could you do me a favor and lock the door? For my peace of mind, that is. Um, sure thing. The moment I flick the, the lock, her smile flips upside down and the mask comes off. on this muffin while we talk? Go ahead. <laughs> she, she's eating a muffin again. What one? Thanks, but I already ate. So why are you here at all? You didn't learn something new about those bad guys trying to attack me, did you? No, it's nothing related to that. I just want to ask a little favor of you, if that's alright. Oh, and it's perfectly normal favor, by the way. Don't worry. Better be. Ninja Sun is having trouble with her ability. I briefly summarized the situation and informed her about our plan to practice our planned practice session this afternoon. So yeah, 
I was wondering if you'll be willing to come and help us. Uh, if you're busy, that's fine. No, I'm free, but like... What? Too much of a hassle for you to go? I mean, I guess it's kind of, it kind of is a hassle, but I'm not rude enough to just say no just because I'm lazy. Then why not? Look, I'll come, but I ain't putting on a damn swimsuit. You were probably hoping I would, weren't you? Heh, <laughs> well, too bad. Uh, I wasn't actually. Just come in whatever. Uh, all I'm... All I really want is your opinion. Fine, but you owe me one. Alright, cool. Honestly, though, my opinion isn't gonna be worth crap. Are you talking about the whole abilities are, in are intuitive thing? Kind of, but more so, our abilities are just too fundamental fundamentally different to compare. You're familiar with our ability, right? It affects the water itself. Right, and I believe yours involves creating a force field. Ah, okay. I think I understand what you mean. Your ability isn't applied to gravity or... Your ability isn't applied to gravity or space per se. You just create a field. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can see why that would be different from Nijisan, but it's a heck of a lot more similar to to it than mine is so I'll be so I'll still appreciate it if you come sure all right I guess I'll catch you after school thanks for telling me Sakasa son not like I have anything better to do are you getting bored a lot I know your schedules basically cleared up entirely since the interview stopped no I mean not really I, I like how things happen those interviews and crap used to take up basically all of my all my day, so I never had and <laughs> had any time for myself. Ah, I just want to sit in this chair and do nothing all day. Maybe I could take a nap, and when I wake up, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't know you were such of a lazy. <laughs> I didn't know you were this much of a lazy bones. Yeah, I'm a lazy ass. So what? I can't. I can do whatever I want when I'm by myself. It's hard to believe those words came from the school's mon Madonna, but I can I can certainly relate. Maybe, but technically you aren't by yourself right now, are you? But hey, you know what that means? It means I trust you. Maybe I guess. Baka. Well, geez, thanks for the. I'm honored. Out of curiosity, though. What do you do in your free time? Of course, if you don't mind me asking. Where the heck did that random question come up? Baka! <laughs> you said to yourself a few seconds ago- <laughs> You said a few seconds ago that you never really had any time to yourself. And you sounded kind of uh, disappoint- <laughs> You sounded kind of disappointed when you said it. So I was just wondering if maybe you had any hobbies or other things you do for fun. Nope, not really. What do you usually do when you have free time then? Oh, uh, what do I usually do? She throws into silence and then awkward, awkwardly averts her eyes. Was it really that strange of, of a thing to ask? Um, you don't, um, like, lock the door in here and start doing embarrassing things, do you? The hell? No, I don't! God, why is your mind always in the gutters, you freaking sicko? How do you know my mind was in the gutters? All I said was embarrassing things. That could mean a whole myriad of different things. Yeah, my ass. What a guy your age don't automatically associate embarrassing with sexual crap. I bet you imagine me m masturbating, touching myself or whatever. Ha 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 ha! Dream on. For the record, I have nothing. I have not ever masturbated a single time. How do you like that? Uh, um, thanks for the information? Yeah, I bet you are thankful, you freaking pervert. Mm. Ah! What the hell did you make me say? God, what is wrong with you, freak? What? You brought it up. I never said a shit about masturbation. Uh, oh, did you now? So, you're gonna tell me you weren't thinking about that? Well, what a surprise. His mind was in the gutters after a long, <laughs> all along. Oh, come on. I was just, um, 
Imagine you were trying various exercises to get big, bigger boobs. I swear I'm going to kill your ass! This is exactly why I kept my mouth shut. I don't do freaking exercises to make my tits bigger in the president's room! I don't! I do those! Wait, no! I mean, ask her this! In a fit of rage, she picks up something and thrusts it in my face. This is what I do! Help me! Is this a handheld? Oh, so you play games? Yes, I play games sometimes, but I only watch videos when I'm here. Videos of what? Cats! Cats? Like, as in the animal? Yeah! Cats! Felines! The household pets! Yada yada! You like cats? I know what you're thinking! She just like... She's like a cat herself! Nice and friendly on the outside, mean and bitchy on the inside! Honestly, screw you! Your persecution... <laughs> your persecution complex really seems to get worse by the day. But no! That, that that never crossed my mind. Whatever. I guess I'll say it again. Do you like cats? Yeah, I do. Cats just warms my heart, even on the screen. I watch these videos a lot when I'm alone. What's so embarrassing about that? Well, nothing. I know. I just don't like giving out personal information about myself. Oh, okay. I can easily see her slipping into her real personality if she blabbered too much about those sorts of things. So I see why. When you're trying to put up a facade, it's better just to go all the way. Also, I have a rule that only I- I only watch cat videos when I'm alone. Cat videos soothe my soul, so I need to be undisturbed to properly relish that feeling. Uh, bit of a weird rule, but okay. I guess I just don't see how you can spend so much time watching cat videos. Are, are they that entertaining? What? Are you a dog person? Or do you just play, play not like cats? No, I like both dogs and no, cats and dogs. They're cute. But I'm not really obsessed with them to a point that I watch videos of them in my free time. Really? Why not? Uh, don't really know, know how to answer that. If it makes you feel any better, I don't watch internet videos much in general. Heck, I barely even watch TV. What the fuck do you do? Like, I watch the <laughs> internet a lot. I'm making internet videos. Well, I mostly just play video games, too. You're really missing out. There's nothing in this world more soothing than watching cute cat cats frolicking, frolic around. If you don't watch any videos or TV, then what do you do in your free time? Uh... A typical day for me involves eating, school, and what else? Um, sleep? That's pretty much it. Most of my other time was spent on missions. Now that I- that my workload is lessening though, I'm beginning to realize that I'm in a certain- I'm an incredibly boring person. Yeah, so honestly, I guess I don't have any hobbies. Now that I really- Now that it's really set- starting to set in, I feel miserable. God, I almost want to cry. Maybe I should start watching cat videos myself. You should! Time just flies when you're watching those cute kitties! So, um, where do you find your cat videos? Where? You go on <laughs> Viewpipe and search cat related stuff! I never actually got on Viewpipe. Is it easy to find stuff you want? Never as in never? Jeez, you're literally the first person I met who never used Viewpipe! I'll use my smartphone for calling and texting. Is that and if that gives you any idea on how untech savvy I, I am? <laughs> Seriously? What are you, some old grandpa? Actually, I'm taking the back. I'll take that back. There are probably a ton of old people out there that know their way around a smartphone better than you. How is that my fault? I just don't use it. Kids in these days, in this day and age, asking how to use you pipe. Guys, that is talk about hilarious. Whatever, forget it. Hey, come on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'll teach you how to use it. Feel feels a little weird using the word teach the word teach for something this simple. But whatever. 
Come over here and I'll show you. I walk up next to Misukasa and peer on the screen. <laughs> okay, so you know how to do, like, basic web searches and all that, right? Surely you do. But yeah, it's pretty much like that. You go to your pipe, type cats in the search bar, and voila! Kitty's gonna lower. Oh, I see. That is pretty simple. Yeah, and that's how most sites are on the internet. You just search through a simple, easy-to-find bar. Oh, gosh! I already just love just... Fuck. I'm already in love just from the thumbnails. But yeah, you just tap the video you want to watch and boom, it pops up. Meow! Oh, that kitty is so cute! Um... There's adorable round eyes, that fluffy fur, fluffy fur. Oh my gosh, I want to pet that kitty so bad! <laughs> she is really into cats, damn! She like straight up in trance. Wanna know something neat about cats? They look all cute and cuddly, but their tongues are actually really hard and rough. Having a rough tuck like that, like, like them to lick me off the prey's bones. Certainly surpri something surprising use useful for a predator. But that's not their only function. They're super useful for grooming too. Which cats do a lot. Uh, oh, um, cool. Didn't know that. Ah, uh, such a pretty kitty. I want to pet and hold you and love you. <laughs> <laughs> um... She really goes crazy over cats. This is far, far worse than I ever expected. Like, this kind of- this sounds kind of bad, but it looks like she's high out of her mind or something. Oh my gosh, I love kitties! I need kitty! Oh, just look at her! She's sleeping with her belly up side up! Isn't that adorable? Oh, and this one immediately- <laughs> Imitating your owner and waving her paw! Damn, so cute! <laughs> Such a sweet little baby! Well, she was certainly not exaggerating. I fully believe that cat girls have the power to soothe their heart. The effects are right here for me to see. <laughs> Damn, though. They're sur <laughs> they sure seem to be soothing her mentally. But they're doing a number on her respiratory system. She, um, really didn't take a hit of acid before I came here, did she? Um, looks like I, look, I agree that the cats are cute. The kid in the video especially so. The way she's waving her paws is upright adorable. But personally, I'm much more captivated by the person watching this video. <laughs> she looks like more of a parent. Ah, oh, look at her face! Goodness, you think you're a little troublemaker, don't you? <laughs> Watching the bliss, bliss and ecstasy taking over Misukasa-san's facial expression is much more fun. Why don't you get a cat? Oh, right, you can't keep pets in the dorms. Yeah, I have to wait at least until I graduate. And even then, I'm not sure if I'm getting one is, is a smart idea. Oh, why is that? Too much time and effort to take care of? Hmm, <laughs> no. I know pets aren't easy to take care of. I love cats, so I'll be more than willing. The problem is, cats don't like me. Um, all cats? Yeah, they're never actually friendly around me, and I don't know why. And you're sure you're not just imagining it? You know about the stray cats that live on the school campus? Oh yeah, I think I saw it once. Well, whenever I see her, I try and get her to let me pet her. But she just takes off running the second she sees me. When other people do it, she walks up on them, purrs, and even rubs their, her cheeks against their legs. Oh, why? Is it a sin to want to cuddle with, with that kitty? Maybe you're unintentionally scaring it. I can't imagine how. Like, I don't wear circus... No, citrusy perfume, or I don't do anything that's, or nor do I do anything that startles her. I, I approach her very slowly. Oh, I remember not to make eye contact. That's very important. 
Did he do something to piss her off? Maybe touching her in the wrong place or something? No way, I'd never! And it's not like I could- I ever could've! So they never let me get close enough to touch her! Hmm... Maybe you're emitting some kind of, like, electric- electric magnetic field via your ability that irritates cats. Not possible! I never heard of cats hitting astros, and my ability isn't even an electric ability in the first place! Right, so where does that leave us? Maybe you're just scary. That's what I thought too, and that's probably it! Um... Um... I thought for sure she'll snap, but all she really does is lump- <laughs> All she really does is slump her shoulders and sink into the- A depressing slump. Do you think I'm intimidating them without realizing it? I might never be able to pet a kitty my entire life. I don't know if I can take that. Wow, she's seriously on the verge of tears. Really didn't think it was ca causing her this much anguish. No, cats are the same, Mitsukasa-san. It's the same with humans. I'm positive not all are scared of you. And heck, we don't even know that strays run away one away cause she's cause she's scared of you. Don't worry, just believe you'll be able to pet a kitty someday. I hope so. <sighs> I'm sure you'll feel better if you watch some more more videos. Here, look at the kitties. Isn't she so adorable? Uh huh? Mm? Oh, oh, she's so precious. Meow. Um, that was too easy. Alrighty, <laughs> I'll see you in the next Misa Casa thing, okay? Like, I'm gonna finish the setup this video, the next video will be Misa Casa number one. Okay, I am back, and this is weird. I've never got this before. Like, when I was with Kohei last time, we only got this option. How about something different today? And we went off and I think we went to hang out with the girls, like, Nanami and I think mice. I don't remember. We want some more different But there's only this option now. There's this option now. So let's let's click it The one we always go to I'm fine with the dorm three again. You eat like a horse. So it really is the only choice Sweet sounds like a plan So I used to eating at the same place every day because of my metabolism No, oh, I remember now we went to dorm four remember we went to dorm 4 and he got like, um, we we're eating with Nanami and all that and like, remember like with the celery, the pickle or whatever, celery, celery. Now it's all good. The food there actually, actually is pretty good. And I'd rather eat with you than by myself. Uh, thanks, but we're both dudes. And just for the record, no, I'm not gay. Me neither. But if you're going to be that way, then maybe I'll eat by myself. <laughs> Come on, man. I was just messing with you. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Dun, dun. Dot, dot, dot. I can't seem to spot any new cameras. But this campus is huge. Getting rid of every blind spot would be next to impossible. Not that it'll, be, it'll make my job any easier, but I have Nanami, so I'll sure... <laughs> but sure, we'll figure out something. Oh! Want to pick up... Want to pick up today? Maybe I'll do the chicken. I'm kind of feeling fish personally. Go with the macro pickle in Misu then. It's great. Oh yeah, I saw that. I was a little confused because I'm I only heard of macro skim skim skimmered in Misu. Skimmered in Misu. You're right. It is pretty rare. From what I heard, the cafeteria lady really big into pickled foods, and the kids found that. That they're actually really like it. It's one of the most popular items there nowadays. Sometimes they even run out. So it's kind of like a local favorite assess essentially. Yeah, and I swear on my life that it is delicious. You gotta try at least once. You're right. You're really hyping it up, so I guess I will. Meow? <laughs> no, I'm gonna go meow. <laughs> oh look, it's Hatra. That's her name? Hmm? Oh no. Nah, it's just what I call her. Satra's coming from the- Satra's coming from the fact that she's a stray that lives on campus. 
Wow, you really didn't put a lot of effort into coming up with that. Well, she responded to it, so I think she likes it. Tell him, Satram. Meow. See? I don't know. I feel like she's she just used to humans giving her stuff. That's probably why she comes up to you, honestly. You're probably right. Everyone I met loves her, so probably get treated real nicely by everyone here. That's why she contends just chills here on campus. Like all she needs to do is come up to people and get food. Yeah, that's a dream environment for a stray. Are there any other stray cats or is she the only one? Probably just her. I never see her seen kittens either. Hmm? Come here, little kitty. Meow. Meow. I crouch down and scratch her chin. That's all it takes for her to start meowing in the light. Damn, that was easy. It was easy to touch that pussy. Okay, I'll see myself out. <laughs> That's why everyone loves her. You know, really... Fuck. You really... Fuck. <laughs> you know, really, we're probably the only ones getting, getting played. Good point. She's a clever one. Case in point. She made me pet her. Meow. Meow. She's got to be the cat Misikasa was talking about. Weird how she comes up to me right away. She doesn't know me, and I don't have any food for her. Hmm. Maybe Misikasa was taking a different... Talking about a different one. We better get going, Satoru. If we wait too long, well, all, all the macro is gonna be gone. Right. Bye-bye, Satoru. Meow. Heh. <laughs> You said it was dumb, but you're using it too. We'll confuse her if we make up too many different names. Phew, that was great. My stomach is happy. I still don't know how you eat that much. He just wolfed down eight pieces of extra large chicken. Any normal person would be stuffed just after three or four. I've always had room in my stomach for delicious food. <laughs> Fuck. How's yours? Did you like the mackerel? Yeah, it was great. Not too spicy, not too sweet. I can see how this would be a favorite. Told you so! Ah, crud. Now I want some, some of that mackerel myself. Um, as in now now? You're still gonna eat? Haha, <laughs> no way. I'm full. Plus, look, they're already out of it. It sucks, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm hearing him right. He might have actually got some in, some of in there if they weren't out. I like honestly convinced his stomach is a portal to a different dimension or something. Ready to head back to class? Or are you trying to eat more? Yeah, I'm just munching on some snacks later. Let's go. Um, That guy snacks 24-7. I don't know how he does it. Like, he says, he's just all that fatty... Like, he just had all that fatty chicken. Thank you! Thank you, ma'am. Anytime, sweeties! That- the pickled mackerel was fantastic, by the way. Oh, wonderful! Happy to hear you like it! Oh, right, um, do you have any leftover meat? Like, maybe chicken breast that I could- that I could use? Sure, but what are you gonna be doing with that? Oh, you still hungry? Why the chicken breast in particular, though? It's for Satro. Ah, okay, gotcha. Satra? Who's that? You know, the stray that lives here. We ran into her on the way here. Oh, Whiskers? Chicken breast isn't what you need, then. Here, give her this. To Give her this. The lady takes out a small bag. It's filled with actual dry cat food, divided into small servings. She hasn't been fed, fed yet today, so if you could do that for me, that would be much appreciated. Sure, we can do that. <laughs> this video is gonna be long. Why did the cafeteria lady have cat food? Well, they were originally giving her leftovers from the school lunches, but cats aren't supposed to eat food that's seasoned for us humans. Cat food is better anyways. It's full, full of the right nutrients that cats need. Anyone sort of came to that conclusion that feeding her food would be bad, so that's why the cat, cat food ended up here. No one in particular in charge of it. It's basically because whoever sees her goes to the cafeteria to get her food. Wow, she really loves it here. 
Yeah, she's real good at cozying up to people like that. Not in the bad way, of course. She's a really friendly cat, so we all can't help but to take care of her. Um, has there been anyone she's not like? Not the way I know of. All you ever heard is people talking about how nice and affectionate she is with others. So Misukasa is the only person she runs from. Man. Wonder if she's still somewhere around here. Come on out, Satra. We got you your food. Guess he's already wandered off. It's been a while. I wouldn't expect to, her to stay in the same spot that long. I'll go check around the shrubs. I pushed my I pushed away leaves and branches and searched for our cat. I'm already I already used the opportunity to see if I could discover any of those additional security cameras that were supposedly installed. Like I made notes on earlier. There are still blind spots. I heard the security overhaul was going to be pretty substantial, but I'm not seeing it. I guess it's the primary focus on preventing outs outsiders from coming in, so most of the new stuff probably is near the edge of campus. Perfect for me. Meow. Oh, hey, there you are, Satsura. We've been looking for you all, looking all over for you, girl. Meow. We given up our search and we head back to the class when, lo and behold, Satra appears. She meows and starts nuzzling her cheeks against mine and Kohei's leg. Her meows are just the most adorable thing ever. You can't help but smile. It's no wonder everyone loves her and takes care of her when she's, when she's this friendly. She's never really been scared of people, so I think she might have an owner before she was a stray. Satra looks up at me with her big round eyes. Come on, Satoru, you gotta give her the food. Oh, right. I take out the cat food from the bag and put it in my palm and hold it out for her. For her. She immediately starts eating it, almost like she's been waiting. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm essentially a stranger to her, she shows no sign of wariness. Can't imagine how she runs away unless you started her or something. Why does Misukasa claim this cat runs away from her? It's completely mysterious to me. A few seconds later, Satra's already finished. That's what you call a strong appetite. Looks like you're, you're keeping healthy, girl. Meow. Following that one final meow, the sound almost like thank you, Satra le left. Now that's... Now that she knows. Now that she knows you, she's probably gonna come up to you the next time she sees you. Just cause I fed her once? Man, she's one smart cat. That's normal for animals, dude. You don't be you be surprised. They can actually have a good they really have a good memory. Did your family ever never own a pet? Nope, never. No cat, no dog, no birds, no fish. What about you? Yeah, we have a mini chinchilla back home. He's kinda dumb, but he's just the cutest little thing. <gasps> have you ever seen chinchillas? They're so cool. My cousin had one. Like their furs are so soft, but you can't throw water on them, man. You got, they take dry baths, like, you gotta get them, like, these volcanic ash or whatever, and they just roll around in it to clean themselves? Yeah, literally, water. Because their fur is so thick, if water if water touches them, they, like, fucking suffocate from the from their fur. <laughs> I bet. Dogs are nice. Oh, wait, did you say chinchilla or, or chihuahua? Oh, chihuahua. Uh, my mom has a chihuahua. Her name is Rubber. She's adorable, but it's a chihuahua, so she <laughs> she runs around a lot. You never even ever thought about getting a pet? Well, it's a big responsibility. I don't think we have the time. Me and Anami have school, and our dad's busy with work. We're also busy a lot at night with missions and whatnot. They're probably at home alone a lot, and I'll hate to do that to an animal. Fair. What about your mom? What does she do? We don't have a mom. Don't feel bad, though. There's no sob story behind it or anything. Our dad's a single man who adopted us and raised us by himself. There's all that there is to it. Well, Nanami does have a lot of household choice, so I guess it's not necessarily all him. You said you wanted snacks, right? You better go get those now. Oh crap, I totally forgot! I'm gonna head back to class. See you there. Okay, I'll be there in a bit. Huh. <sighs> okay, let's double check everything one more time. Ugh, all set now. 
We should be able to sneak in using the same route as last time. Hmm? What are you doing standing out here, Satoru Araharakun? Class is about to begin! Yeah, I know. I'll be there in a sec. Oh! You have something on your uniform! Huh? Where? Right there on your sleeve! More than, than likely, it's lint! Actually... Huh? Actually, it doesn't quite look like lint. That's probably Satra's fur. Satra? Who's that? Just a stray cat. You know, the one who lives here on campus? I was feeding her while I was out, so I guess I got some of <laughs> I got some of her fur on me then. What? Wait, wait, back up! I'm not sure I caught what you just said. She didn't run away from you? Oh no, she was meowing at me for food, rubbing it up against my leg. Man, I even got to pet I got her fur on my pants. Do you know anyone that has a lint brush on them? Or a lint taint would be would be would do too. Why? Why does the snuggle- Why does she snuggle up to you but not me? I want to know- I want to give her food and pet her and cuddle with her. Your guess is good as mine, really. She just came up to me. I don't know why. <coughs> why are you glaring at me? I'm not doing- I'm not gonna do any- That's not gonna do anything. It's not fair. Why does she like you but not me? Why, why, why? Wait, you bribed her, didn't you? I mean, I I did have cat food, but she still came up to me when I didn't have it. My impression is that she never hated hate a human unless they specifically did something to anger her. Then why does the cat? Oh, then why does she act all frightened and run away when when I see her? Um, are you sure you're not thinking of a different cat? That or maybe there's just something. She just had something to do, and that's why she runs away. Koei thought she was the only cat here, but he doesn't know that for certain. This campus is pretty large, so there could be very well more more hiding out there. There might be two cats with the same fur, the like, same color fur, and everyone just thinks they're the same cat. Well, I suppose we cannot rule out the possibility at the very least. I'm positive Satra would let you pet her. Hmm. Would you would you help me? You want me to help you? Well, I can't guarantee she'll come out if I'm alone. Pretty please, with a carry on top. Huh. <sighs> Tch, you're supposed to, you're supposed to fall for it, stupid. Has anyone ever told you that you have been a wonderful personality? You have a wonderful personality. You probably think I'm an awful person, don't you? Look, I don't mind. I'll come with you. So, um, please don't try that cutesy crap on me again. It's weird. Is after school good for you? Sure. I kind of owe you for keeping quiet about my identity. Thanks! A few hours later. School is out and Misakasa-san and I are walking around campus in search for Straya. This is where you last saw her, you said. This is where you saw her, you said. Yeah. Come out, Straya. Where are you? It's the guy who brought you food earlier, kitty! Straya, we got food for you! Nothing! It's definitely cause I'm with you, I know it! Can't be! You never pissed her off, have you? I would never! Who could piss off and hurt such a cute little thing? I mean, I've never even been close enough to do- To- Fuck. To do something! Hmm... Right as I'm- I'm starting to ponder what to do, I hear a rustling sound. I look off in the direction it came from and spot a familiar cat looking cat walking out of the bushes. Meow. Are you Straya? Meow. She rubs up against my leg like she did at lunch. Her demeanor is the same. Her appearance is the same. It has to be the same cat. Aww, who's a cute little kitty? Here, let me scratch your chin some, girl. Meow. Straya seems to like it. She's completely trusting me. She's completely trusting of me. There's no other explanation for why she's acting the way she's acting. I don't see her running away now. Look, Misukasa-san. She's a really friendly cat. You probably just had the wrong... <laughs> it? There is a monster in my presence. Well, it's just Misukasa-san. But still, 
now that she's finally seen a kitty, one of precious little babies in the flesh, the Siri of Euphoria, <laughs> even the fucking cat, the, the Siri of Euphoria has caused her to lose her sanity. This is 10 times more extreme than when she's watching the videos. This is bad. <laughs> With breathing so heavy, it borders on inappropriate. She slow, she slowly closes, edges closer to me and Straya. Kitty, so soft, must cuddle. No. Stara doesn't even attempt to hiss. She simply tucks her tail underneath her, her and clings to her leg, to my legs. Mrs. Kasasan edges closer and closer, step after step. To the poor frightened kitten cat. Well, this ex this definitely explains things. Any animal will run away from this. Even I'm shaking my boots here. Today's the day. I will pick kitty. She slowly inches ne nearer, heaving and hooving like some creature not of this world. I doubt there's a single animal in the animal kingdom that wouldn't fear for dear life in the face of her menacing presence. Me included. You will not escape! Not today! Ooh. Ah. Meow. Meow. Ooh. Ah. Meow. Ah! Wait! Don't run! With an ear pizzy cry, Straya bolts off. Why? Why did she run away from me? I don't blame her. What the heck? Why? <laughs> do, do, do. Look, any cat gonna get scared if you run it <laughs> and run if you approach it like you did. A lot of humans too for that matter. Uh, stop exaggerating. It couldn't have been that bad. Misukasa-san immediately refusing to acknowledge she was scaring Straya no matter what I say. And somehow or another, I've been dragged to her room with her. Ooh, she looks cute though, with her jacket. Look at- let me look at her room. It's all pink. Okay, because, you know, she has pink hair and she's a girly girl. Cat, it's not because she's a girl- she's a girly girl. She's- <laughs> when she's not scaring you, she has that persona of, I'm a girly girl! Oh my god! <laughs> She even has, she has cats. What the fuck? They're, those are chickens? Ugh. Sorry, I don't like chickens, man. We had chicken, that's the problem. And why the fuck is there like an Xbox One right there? <laughs> yeah, that's a PS4. Um, yeah, you're right. That is a PS4. Because I do have one. Hmm. Let me check it. Let me check it out some. Uh... Despite her little facade, she's still a girl and her room is very much shows that. Everything about it is different different from her guy's room, from the decor to the colors. Oh, I see I see she has a game console. I knew she was that she fuck. I knew she had the handheld, but I guess she's really she's a pretty big gamer. Uh can you stop eyeballing everything in my room like some creep, please? Oh, sorry, my bad. I saw that game con console. What kind of games do you play on? Mostly long story heavy games like RPGs and stuff. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm like, oh my god, I love video games too, man. Like, I love RPGs. I like The Witcher 3, Mass Effect, Before Andromeda, of course. Oh my god, man. Fucking RPGs. Ah! <laughs> I fucking, and I also play um JRPGs like the Trial of Cold Steel. So, yeah, man. I fucking love RPGs. Okay, mostly long story heavy games like RPGs and stuff. It's easy for me to enjoy games the more I'm invested I am in it. I saw some other genres too in there. Well, there aren't too many games that fit my perf perfect preferred criteria, so I have experimented with other stuff every now and then. Do you usually just stay in your room and play games for hours? Yeah, pretty much. Having to be Miss Perfect all the time gets to be really tiring, so whatever, whenever I'm not busy, I just like to put on, put on something comfortable and laze around here. I don't want, fuck, I don't want to have to worry about keeping up appearances my, in my own room. You know how 
I am a fuck. You know how I I am already. So I figure you probably wouldn't be bothered by it. Well, it is your room. You're free to dress however you like. But um, I have to say, yeah. This is legit fraud. Huh? Um, <coughs> um, sorry, misspoke. Oh, she's not wearing the pads. I meant to. I meant to ask. Do you not wear your pads in here? Ugh, did you actually just do that? You didn't correct yourself. You said the exact damn thing. It just came out wrong. I didn't mean to offend you. I swear. You just look um empty. That <laughs> you're not. You're not helping yourself, Satoru. <laughs> She's scared already. You just look um empty in that. So I just had to wonder if you might not be wearing a bra, and prob and you probably should <laughs> shouldn't do that when you have a guest in here. <clears throat> you think I'm gonna bring a guy into my room and walk around braless? What do you think I'm trying to trying to seduce you or something? I am wearing a bra for your information, a sports bra, but that still counts. Don't girls usually wear? <laughs> don't use? <laughs> don't girls usually wear those when they're exercising? Yeah, but underwire bras can be kind of <laughs> um, fuck, kind of tight and uncomfortable. Also, they irritate the skin, so you don't always wear them on. You don't ever always wear one. Always want to wear one. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this like I gotta like move my head a little bit to see the rest of the thing. Sports bra are perfect. You can just chill and relax, cause they're soft and stretchy, which makes them the whole whole lot more comfortable to be in. They're mainly for exercise, so the design used to used to be all pretty plain, but the change but that changed lately. You'll find a ton of them in the stores that look really cute. The one I got on is really cute. Like when I saw it, I brought it on. I bought it on impulse. It was so cute. Want to see? Oh, don't mind if I do. Here, like. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. It might be a sports bra, but I'm, but it's, I'm pretty obvious. I'm, uh, fuck. But I'm obviously not gonna show you. Like I'm actually speechless. You were actually gonna try and take a peek, you perv, <laughs> pervert, make per. <laughs> Pervert make perfect? You were bragging about it like it was the best designed bra of the century. How am I sup how am I not supposed to get curious? You can't just lead on a guy like that. We're frail. Frail? I think you mean horny. Ew, look at this nasty pervert. Uh Well that's enough messing around. We came here to talk about the cat. I need you to explain it to to me for real no exaggerating this time i already gave it to you for real you scared the cat and even me too uh are you being serious like actually serious sure sure am oh come on why i was moving super <laughs> super slowly and careful you saw right um yeah slowly and careful like a predator closing in on its un <laughs> On its unincapitated prey. I was trying really hard not to scare her. I swear. Well, you evidently didn't try hard enough. Though eyes were eyes of, of a murderer. That can't be. All I wanted. All I was thinking was petting and snuggling and playing with the cute kitty. Maybe in your mind. But your eyes were the eyes of a foul predator about to brutally torture and murder that poor kitty. You're kidding. You just got way too excited about wanting to touch her, snuggling with her, not letting her get away or whatever. Also, um, I have to bring up the breathing. You fall into a dark, <laughs> you fall to the dark side or something. Like those whoo and ha sounds were seriously scary. Hey, I was not breathing like that. Like it or not, you were. I'm not messing with you. That's probably one of the reasons why Straya was so terrified of you. Silly. Um. All I can do is slowly shake my head. For real? For real. So you're telling me that the reason the cat's running? Fuck. That the reason the cat's running from me? Yep. She's running for dear life. I doubt she'll come up to you even if you had food. What? That's like a million times.
sounds worse than being hated! Not really. If she doesn't straight up hate you, you still have a chance. All you gotta do is keep that crazy excitement of yours in check and try not to scare her. How am I supposed to do that? Like, I don't even realize I'm doing that! Seriously? You get pretty worked up. The brain was extremely creepy, and she wasn't even talking in incomplete sentences like some robot. Well, well, okay, maybe I did get a little bit worked up, but only a little. Oh, come on, how am I supposed to get... Fuck. How am I not supposed to get excited when such a precious little baby be right before my eyes? Yeah, she's cute. That's why I pet her and gave her food. Right. I had absolutely no intent of scaring her. It's just like... It's just like... I felt this sudden rush of joy and I couldn't help it. Not surprised. There's a video there enough to catch her acting out of her mind. What am I supposed to do? Like, how am I supposed to not... How do I not scare her? Hmm, let me think. The thing you want to avoid are, are scaring her, startling her, and angering her. Or angering her. In general, I feel like Misukasa's problem is that she's trying to not to come to Satra. Satra is extremely used to people, and I've seen her she'll come up to you by her own accord whenever she wants her wants attention. Once it comes to you, she'll let you pet her and your heart's content. Just don't do anything she won't like. So just um pretend you're interacting with a person. There's a saying. Don't do the others what you wouldn't want done to you. Just put yourself in the shoes or paws, in this case, of the cat. The cat? Put myself in the cat's paws? In the cat's paws? Me meow Uh, that is fucking adorable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop that! Why are you laughing? I was just doing what you said, alright? Sorry, I wasn't laughing. I just kind of, um, choked because <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> if you're going if you're gonna say you didn't laugh, then what? <laughs> Fight. If you're gonna say you didn't laugh, then you don't freaking laugh. I seriously didn't expect you to take that literally and pretend and pretend to be a cat. Like, how am I supposed to keep a straight face? When she just up and does that. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. It just caught me off guard. I couldn't contain it. But yeah. You got the right idea. You you want to think of the cat. Then don't freaking laugh at me. Like some idiot. Like I'm some idiot. God, seriously. Look, I'm sorry if I... <laughs> if you thought that. But that wasn't my intention. Trying to understand how others feel is critical when you interact with someone person or cat you were taking it seriously and i think that really showed how you, how much you love cats yeah yeah i know i was just taking things this seriously uh -huh. man she really is head over heels for these furry felines this is what cats do with their paws isn't it meow uh hmm You're making me feel such like an idiot right now. What do you want me to say? Oh, come on. I don't know. Just treat me like a cat or something. That's what we're trying to imitate here. Uh, you want me to what? Just pretend I'm a kitty from earlier and do what you did, did to her. Maybe I'll understand what she's scared. What scares cats that way. But maybe I'm not being good, <laughs> a good enough cat yet. Otherwise, you wouldn't be laughing at all. I don't quite think you can draw that conclusion. I'm, a, I'm just at a loss for what to do. The way she's acting is honestly really cute. Oh, she's pouty. Look, like she's pouty. She's like, she's like that. <clears throat> also, I just think it's a little funny that she's pretending to be a cat to better understand them. I know this sounds rude, but I initially thought she was just aloof and uncaring. This seems to be more her true pers personality. It's kind of pleasing, pleasantly surprising. What? Nothing. Go on. Ha, <sighs> whatever. Do 
you have any suggestions, like, or stuff that I can do, that I can do better to get in the role? That's a tough one. Let me think. Putting on a pair of cat ears, you'll be more cat-like for sure. Cat ears? Right, appearance isn't important. It's all about how you act. Cat ears, of course! Why did I think of that? <laughs> uh, really? She's actually gonna do it, isn't she? What do you mean, uh, really? You're the one who suggested it. Well, yeah, I did. Do you have a pair of cat ears on you? Nope. Actually, um, what guy would randomly carry around a pair of cat ears with them? That's a little creepy. Very true. She nods deeply in assessment, in assessed. I honestly don't have any either. Wait, you don't have any? My little sister has some. I honestly don't have any either. So what do we do? You got any friends that have some? What kind? Why? What kind of person would? Wait. I think I actually might know someone that does. <laughs> Not me. Huh? Cat ears? Well, uh, I mean, yeah, I do have a pair. Perfect, I figured you would. Cat ears are common in cosplay outfits, and she's into cosplay. I think she would have some. I thought she would have some, but I didn't actually think she would. Can you let me borrow them for a sec? What? You want them? I'll let you have them, but... You have to tell me, what are you going to use them for? Uh, I, um, can't really tell you. You're not going to wear them yourself, are you? Don't, I'm going to cry my own brother puts a pair of cat ears and cr starts cross-dressing. Oh, come on, I'm not going to cross-dress for Christ's sakes. They're for a friend. That phrase is almost explicitly used to the fire. <laughs> I'm just laughing, like, oh my god. Hmm. That phrase is almost exclusively used to lie about needing something embarrassing for yourself. Yeah, but it's the truth. I really need a pair for a friend. They asked me to get a hold of a pair. Well, you do seem like you're telling the truth. Come on, Nanami. You're my precious little sister. I love you. I would never lie to you. Spouting all of those sitcom lies isn't going to make you seem any less weird. So maybe stop with them. Just wait here. I'll go in and get them. Thanks, Nanami. I have acquired the cat ears. Wow! You actually did know a girl with cat ears. Just checking, but um... Those are yours, are they? You're not, <laughs> you're not gonna tell me you're secretly into cross-dressing or something, right? No, they're not mine. I don't freaking cross-dress. They're my sisters. Nanami sons? Why would she have a pair of cat ears lying around? Well, I can tell you, but first, you have to promise me you'll keep this a secret. I am someone who knows how to keep secrets. Your information is safe with me. She's actually a pretty big in big into geek stuff. Like, she goes to conventions and does cosplays and, uh, and all that stuff. Cat ears are for cosplay, naturally. Okay, that's nothing weird. She's not ashamed of it or anything. She just chooses, she just chooses it with... <laughs> with who she tells and doesn't tell. That's what she told me. Don't worry, I will not tell us so. Thanks. So, yeah, here you go. Cool, thanks. Meow? Uh... How is it? Be honest. I like them. You look very cute. Th thanks. That's not what I was asking, though. I wanted to know if th that made me seem more cat-like or not. Ah, okay. I'll say they do, yeah. Makes more than bef <laughs> much more than before. Great! That works! I guess I'll keep keep going then. Really? Ready when you are. Meow! Meow meow! Meow meow! The cat ears just make her even more silly. But she looks she looks that much cuter for it. Hey! Don't just stand there! Pet me! I'm a cat, remember? You're supposed to pet me! Alright then. Aw, uh, who's a good little kitty? I proceed to tickle her chin and and neck with my fingertips, just like I did Sat to Satra. Uh, no. Hey, the tickles! Uh. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Every time I move my fingers, her body trembles lightly. Oh no, 
unable to endure the stimulation. Um, this is hot. She's blushing while struggling to bear against it, letting out the, those sexual noises I've never heard her make before. Holy hell, this is hot. Hey! I'm making a girl moan with my fingers. <laughs> That's not a good line to say. I'm making a girl moan with my fingers. <laughs> what kind of kinky kitty roleplay is this? But even though I know it's wrong, I can't stop. I keep gently tickling her with my fingers. See, see, seeing her squirm and moan in pleasure makes me, makes me feel taint, makes me feel things like oh my god. So stop, time out. Um. Wait, please! No more! Break! I can't handle this! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what the fuck am I playing? Did she? No, right? Like, it went to black, but did she? No. <sighs> Why didn't you stop when I told you to? Sorry about that, but y did you not like it when I touched your neck, your chin and neck? It's not like it felt gross or anything, it just tickled! And- and then, started feeling funny the more you tickled me! Are you ticklish? Um, I guess. I know I'm tickled around the belly area. Maybe- maybe I'm actually pretty sensitive, I don't know. But- I- <laughs> But I do think this whole thing was a success. Cats scratch and bite people when they go too far when- when petting and stuff. Nobody likes, likes people who are pushy. Glad I could help. Well, that's actually help though. I mean, there's only assuming petting... Fuck. There's only assuming that I'm petting the cat in the first place. I scared them away before I can even get to the point. Tell me, what was I... <laughs> what was I like when I were a cat... <laughs> when we were with the cat? You said I was excited. Um, do you want me to demonstrate? Sure, if you don't mind. I don't mind, but please promise you, you won't snap. Also, please don't think I'm a weirdo. I'm only intimidating what you did, remember? Yes, I won't, I promise. Okay, here it goes. <sighs> <sighs> Cute girl. Cat ears must cuddle. <laughs> Cat ears. Cat ears. <sighs> ah, it's a creeper! Well, come Wow, come on. That's mean. You promised me you wouldn't call me weird. I'm sorry. I just, um, suddenly felt this overwhelming sense, sense of disgust and, dis and contempt. That's a textbook example of pouring saw on the wound. But come on, you're totally exaggerating. That's not that. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not acting that creepy, no way! Um, I should only shake my head. Believe me, it was closer to reality than you think. Really? You're not just teasing me. I'm not. That's why Satra fight or flight instincts kicked in and ran the and she ran the hell out of there. Imagine the reaction you just had on me. Mmm. I really came across as that creepy? Yeah, but it was more scarier than creepy. That's why I said you were too excited. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Yeah. If you don't want fuck, if you don't want to intimidate the cat, you need to exercise restraint. Don't try approaching her. Wait for her to approach you. I just can't believe I was acting such like such a weirdo. I straight up blurred out creepy creep when you did it to me. It <laughs> Fuck. It's no wonder she ran away. What do you want to do is stay calm. For example, you could hold up some food and wait for Satchel to come to you. Yeah, I understand what I need to do. I'm just not sure if I can. If I can actually keep calm when the time comes. But now that I've learned how the cat feels, I want to try being on the other side. I want to be a petter. Fuck. I want to be a petter. Um, what exactly are you suggesting we do? That shouldn't need explaining. Here, it's your turn. Uh, what? 
You can't tell. You can't tell. You'll play the cat this time, and I'll practice petting you. There's a problem, though. You're not cute. Like, at all. I can't. <laughs> Fine. I can't get all excited like I do when I actually see a cat. No, duh. What do you expect? I guess this won't serve much purpose, then. You put this thing on me. I was just kidding around. It's actually a good thing that you weren't... You weren't... Not, <laughs> fuck. You were not cute. I'll be able to practice easier if not all excited and it worked up. Thanks for the, um, very insulting compliment. Can you help me practice for just a teen... A wean... Fuck. A wean see bit longer. Pretty please with a cherry on top. Yeah, sure. Just please stop, stop with the cute girl act. It's delusional as hell. Your personality is as fine as, as is. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let's do this. She beckons me with her fingertips. Come on, our Harakun. What do you say? <sighs> I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Meow. Why is she taking this so seriously? Damn! Cats sound like this! Meow! Have you not heard- <laughs> Have you not heard how Satra sounds? She's, she's more like, Meow! <laughs> meow! Meow! Let's hear it repeat after me! Meow! Meow! Make it cuter! Oh, come on! You know I can't do that! If you don't like my cat impressions, then you, we can just stop this. How about that? Wait, don't quit. I'll keep quiet. I won't complain about how how gruff and uncute you sound anymore. No matter how gruff and uncute you sound. Uh, you kind of just did. Realizing how futile, <laughs> how fut futile, fuck, how futile arguing with her is, I give up and switch back to cat mode, kitty cat mode. Meow meow. Come here, little kitty. Meow, meow. She calls me over in a gentle, sweet voice. There's no trace of that intimidating aura from earlier. Man, if she could only act this way around cats, maybe then they wouldn't run from her. I move my head closer to her fingers and per while pretending to be a little, a little, <laughs> to be a cat. Who's a good little kitty? She, she does what I did to her, using her fingertips to lightly scratch my chin and neck. I'm finally petting a cat, the moment I dreamed of for years! Meow, 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 mm? If only I was playing an actual cute kitty, this would be perfect! Sorry for not being cute, I guess. Despite her dissatisfaction, I, she keeps moving her fingers. This is going in a really bad direction. I never expected that someone touching your neck would feel this pleasant. What? Oh fuck! That was really awkward noise I just made. <laughs> well, I doubt the sensation is completely in Id <laughs> identical. I get why cats enjoy this. And she was feeling this when I was just doing it to her. Then no wonder she was squirming in pleasure. I guess this is what's supposed to <laughs> what I'm supposed to do with real cats too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, why are you making those weird noises? Are you getting turned on? Of course! <laughs> of course, meow! Of course, meow! <laughs> that was the first, cu first cute noise you made. I know the look in her eyes. She's in full sadist mode. Not that I don't understand how she feels since, well, I kind of did the, s the same to her a few minutes ago, but still. Hey, st st um, meow, meow, meow. Absolutely nothing about you is cute right now, except for your cries. I know I have to do something, but I can't. Her fingers is controlling me right now. I can't resist. Ugh. I feel both physical and mentally like a cat right now. God, don't. God, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have a hidden masochistic. <laughs> 
God, I don't have a hidden masochist inside, do I? Wait, why am I pondering that question? Now is not the time for that. I'm in serious trouble. M meow? Meow? Good kitty, good kitty. <laughs> meow. You were going a bit overboard with the petting. Oh, he went, no! <laughs> oh, was I? Weird. From the way you were moaning, it seemed like you were quite enjoying it. I was not moaning. Oh, uh -huh. you weren't? If I was doing it, then you sure how were too. You're moaning like you were in heaven or something. Sh shut up, I wasn't moaning at all. At Oh, no! We both dropped silent, probably owing to the fact that we both can't fully deny it. Now that we have a minute to cool our heads, we look back on what transpired over the past couple of minutes, and then, and the cringe really hits. Uh, I'm a grown ass man, and I was straight up pretending to be a cat, meowing and moaning and everything. Oh god, those noses I made, I made were so suggestive! Really suggestive. I started making, <laughs> and I started making them after a guy touched me with his fingers. <sighs> what did I just do? What did I just do? Let, let's just uh, drop the subject and move on. Y yeah, good idea. We both nod, looking far away from each other as possible. Damn, my face is my face is hot right now. And if mine is this bad, then Misakasa's must be too. A anyway, the point is, even the cat's meowing like she's enjoying it. She might all of a sudden snap like that. Oh, okay. I'll try my best to pet her in moderation. Hm. Good. Aside from that, just remember to stay calm and wait for it to come to you. If you do, if you do like we practice, you'll be fine. Of course, it'll be a real cat and not some dude wearing a wearing a pair of cat ears. Yeah, a real cat. Real cats are actually cute, unlike you. Um... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I, I'm really grateful that you took the time to think this through and help me. Thanks a bunch. Um, you're welcome. But if you're going to thank me, then skip the teasing next time. What do you want me to do? That's how I am when I, when, when I stop with the strides. Or what? Do you not remember? You specifically told me to be myself around you. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant meant by it. I'm requesting a take back. Nope. Too bad. We don't accept take backs here. Maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. Oh well. <laughs> it probably worth but it's probably worth it if I get to see her laugh and smile like this. Uh, I was seriously just pretending to be- I was a cat. Now that I'm walking back in alone, the embarrassment hits me once again. I was actually meowing. What the fuck was I doing role-playing? I'm not the type of guy who would ever do that normally. The sheer stupidity of my action finally set in, and the overwhelming embarrassment that follows makes me wiggle a wiggle agony. Ah. Okay, I, I see where it was going. Nanami's gonna catch him and he's gonna have the cat ears, isn't he? Feeling just about ready to die, I clutch my head with both hands and scream out in anguish. Satoru, that you? What are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry about that. I just couldn't take it anymore. Wait, Satoru, what the hell are you wearing, dude? What do you mean? You're wearing something, uh, really ridiculous on your head. Something ridiculous on my head, you say? Oh. Oh! Tell me I'm dreaming, please. I was so embarrassed and ready to get the hell out of the, her room ASAP that I forgot to take the cat ears off. Look, I can explain. You, you don't have to. I get it, man. I really do. <laughs> please, just let me explain. I'm, <laughs> I'm an accepting person, Satoru. I may have a little <laughs> I may be a little creeped out right now, but I won't ever shame another man for his interests. You have my word. <laughs> it's 
Stop looking at me like I'm some circus freak for the love of God. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> Is everything okay? That was a heavy, <laughs> heavy sigh. Is something going on? It's nothing. The mental scar I received from my little cat performance earlier said, still hasn't healed. I love to just wipe it from my memory, but an experience that, sorry, but an experience that embarrassing will probably stick with me forever to come. Are you sure? We're about to do a miss. Okay, we're about to do. A okay, so this is basically. You remember my series after we. The whole debacle with my senpai, where she, you know, almost, I uh, you know, saw my dick, and Hazuki came in and like all that. This is basically the point after that. Like, you know what I mean? There's not going to be more about like the cat ears unless. Hold on, let me check. Are you sure we're about to do a mission? So key, so the focus is key, and your mind, mind's not here. We need to switch a different to a different day. I'm sorry. I'll get my brain into gear now. Okay, yeah, this is basically the same. So, I'll see you in the next, um, <laughs> Misukasa event, starting now. Alrighty, I am gonna end it there. Look, yeah, what? I'm gonna end it there. Okay. Fuck. Fuck, man. I fucking hate that. Shit. I'm gonna end it there. Ugh. I'm sorry. It was like... Fuck, man. The setup is just too hard. I gotta set this up in two-parter. <laughs> because it's- There's so much thing with Misukasa that changes the, the story a little bit. Like, I had to go all the way back before, you know, she even- Like, the pool thing. The whole pool thing changes. So, yeah. And I don't got time. I gotta go to work. Okay? It'll be next episode. I promise. Ugh. I wonder how I'm gonna do this. Editing just this episode alone. You're- You're like- Yet. I did not stay here for like an hour and a half just to, you know, hear you fucking do this bullshit on me. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Bye-bye.